A 29-year-old visits an ophthalmologist after noting a gradual decrease in visual acuity in her right eye over the last year. She plays tennis three times per week, eats a low-fat diet, and has a BMI of 24.4. She denies headache, trauma, or a family history of diabetes or multiple sclerosis, and does not take any medications. She is concerned because her father and paternal grandmother suffered from early blindness. On exam, the ophthalmologist notes several exudative hemangiomas on the retina of her right eye. A CT scan of her head reveals bilateral cerebellar cysts and medullary hemangioblastomas. This patient is at high risk of developing which of the following? Pause and answer the question. The correct answer is C renal cell carcinoma. This patient has von Hippel-Lindau disease, VHL, caused by an autosomally dominant germline mutation to the VHL tumor suppressor on chromosome 3. Visual changes due to retinal damage are often the presenting symptom and occur most frequently in the third decade of life. Up to 50% of patients with von Hippel-Landau syndrome go on to develop renal cell carcinoma. Pheochromocytoma, pancreatic tumors, and papillary cystadenomas of the broad ligament are also seen with some frequency. None of the other answer choices is associated with von Hippel-Lindau syndrome. A 36-year-old male is diagnosed with a rare trinucleotide repeat disorder. He retains full mental ability, but is experiencing progressive weakness, loss of coordination, and an unsteady gait. No other signs on physical exam are found. What is the likely diagnosis? Pause and answer the question. The correct answer here e. spinocerebellar ataxia. Of each of these diseases, myotonic dystrophy and cerebellar ataxia are the only two that don't present with some sort of mental deterioration. Myotonic dystrophy has significant additional signs including muscle wasting, cataracts, and heart conduction defects. Therefore, cerebellar ataxia is the most likely diagnosis.